Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make a scroll animation using GSAP and Next.js. You can see this scroll animation. The text is moving right to left on scroll. We are using GSAP's animation library. GSAP is a JavaScript animation library that allows us to create high performance and complex animation. And we are use scroll trigger. Scroll trigger is a GSAP plugin. Let's get started by creating next JS app using the create next app CLI tool. This will set up a basic Next.js project with the necessary dependency and configuration. To do this, open your terminal and run the following command. And press the enter. This will create a folder named next JSAP scroll. Uh, would you like to use TypeScript? Yes, just press enter key. This will create a folder named next JSAP scroll and install the next JS app inside it. You can change the name of the folder to anything you like. Once the installation is done, you can navigate to the folder, cd into folder. If you use Visual Studio Code, just type. It will open your project into Visual Studio. Now our Next.js project is set up. To run this, type the following command npm run dev. This will start the development server. Just press control plus this click. You should see the welcome page with some next JS information. Now let's add the JSX code that we want to use for our app. I have already created a simple JSX code that have a text element. You can find this code in the Git repository. You can also copy and paste this code into your code editor. Open the app folder and page.txx file and remove all this and paste the code. And now check the output. Okay, this is just a text. Now we want to install GS API. You can check the installation guide in GSAP website. This is the installation code. We are using scroll trigger. So we are use this code. Just copy this code and add here. We don't need image component for now. Now we are ready to create the animation logic for our app. To do this, we need to use the use effect hook, which is react hook that allow us to run some code after the component in mount.
now we want to select text element using the query selector method so you we are using const We are use query selector all and just select this paper class now we want to make in the container vapor so we are create scroll digger We are triggering this class, so adding trigger. Add this class to our trigger. We are making pin is true. Starting point is top and you want to scroll two hundred percent for now and that's it. Now we want to create GSAP timeline. Create timeline. We are use let L Okay, after reading timeline. Now we want to add twin to the timeline. Let's move the text element to the left. Let's add uh, twin. We are use this text paper. Now we want to move text to left minus 200%. So we need to add X minus 200 percentage now set scroll trigger properly to control the animation based on scroll so we need to add scroll trigger scroll trigger have a starting and ending position uh, we need to start animation when the Pin trigger is started, so we need to add start position and start when pin trigger is start. And we need to also end when pin trigger is end. So we need to add okay. Now we need to set scrub option, which means the animation will follow the scroll position smoothly. For now, add scrub to one. Now we need to add clean up this function after component unmount. So we need to kill this pin and timeline. 
we can do this by returning this we need to kill pin tigger after component unbound and also kill the timeline after component mount now if we save this file and go to our browser we should see the animation okay we need to use this use client to add here if we use use effect we need to add this okay as we scroll down the page the text element will be moved to the left we need to make more smoothness to change scrub value to this is now more smooth we also change the value of this making 300 percentage now it's moving more and that's it we have created a next js app that uh, use js api and scroll trigger to create scroll based animation of text element you can customize the template that animation and the style to suit your needs you can change this value also and this to experiment the scroll animation i hope you enjoy this tutorial and learn something new if you have any question or feedback, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.